Hi, I'm Brittany Lung, and I would like to welcome you to this episode of Race Face Spotlight. Today, we're headed out to Sonomish, Washington, where we find 14-year-old driver Haley Constance. Haley, how are you doing this evening? Hi, Brittany. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for joining us. Haley, we know that you are a third-generation race car driver. You also have a brother and a sister that race. So at what age did you start racing? I started racing when I was three in a little 50cc kid car. Wow, that's, that's pretty young. Can you tell us some of the different types of cars that you have driven? Well, when I was younger, I used to drive a go-kart, and I also drove quads, junior sprints, and a quarter midget. Now, currently, you are racing Youth Hornets at Evergreen Speedway. Can you tell us a little bit about that class of racing? Yeah, the Youth Hornet class ranges from ages 12 to 15, and we drive on a fifth-mile track with four-cylinder front-wheel drive cars. You also run a 600 micro sprint on the dirt throughout the Northwest. Can you give us a recap of your season? Well, we had a lot of ups and downs this season. We wish we could have done a little bit better. We didn't get a lot of races in this season. We had a little bit of motor issues also, but we're excited to start next season and hopefully we do a lot better. You were recently selected as one of 12 drivers from around the world to compete in the first annual Junior Late Model Challenge camp at Madeira Speedway, and you finished second in the camp competition. Can you share with the viewers what was that like? It was a great opportunity. It was so much fun. At first, we were just really excited to make top 50, and then all of a sudden we made top 12, and then we were in the camp and we learned a lot about branding, business, and marketing, and a lot about the car, and just racing in general. We made a lot of lifelong friends, and it was just a great opportunity and a lot of fun. Now, also last month, you were selected as a Race Face Next driver, making you only the second female in the program's history. How excited are you about this opportunity? I'm so excited just to be a Race Face Next driver in general, but to be one of the females, it just makes it 10 times better, and I know they're gonna help me a lot with my branding, and getting my name out there, and I'm just super excited. Some viewers might think that there are a lot of challenges being a female driver, but you look at it as an opportunity because there are not as many female drivers as males. Can you share with us your thoughts on that subject? Well, I believe that the fans really want to be able to see a female that's competitive and can run in the front, and I feel like as a female, it's a lot less females out there who can actually run up front and be able to drive so I feel like the waters are a lot more open and there's a lot more opportunities. Absolutely. What's your most memorable race so far this year? My most memorable race so far this year was probably in my youth tournament on the 4th of July because we came out there, we did good in practices, we got the car set up perfect for qualifying, ended up finishing first in qualifying and then we went from the back to the front in the heat race and got first and then in the main, we went from 15th all the way up to first again in the main, and we ended up getting a clean sweep that night. So that was definitely my most memorable race this season. Now, is there a race that you would like to forget about? There's definitely a couple races I'd like to forget about, but the one race I'd definitely like to forget about is the last race of my, my micro sprint season because we had a tough night. We struggled with a tough car and a tight car all night. And then we went from eighth to third in the main. We were battling for third place when we got tangled up with some lap cars and I ended up flipping down the back stretch. But we learned a lot from that race and about patience and everything. So I wouldn't take it back, but I would definitely like to forget about it. Absolutely, it sounds like you have a great attitude. Let's go off the track for a moment. This year, you are a freshman in high school. Has that been a big adjustment for you so far? It's definitely been a big adjustment going to a bigger school, and there's definitely a lot more homework. But I really love school, like not like most kids, but I like involving in my academics and after school stuff. So it's been a lot of fun, actually. Now, I understand that you're a straight A student. How are you able to juggle your academics and your racing career? Well, it's a lot of work maintaining a 4.0, and I usually try to get my homework and schoolwork done before I start working on the car or do my races so that I can maintain all A's and be able to focus on my academics also. And then I work on my race car after that. And so sometimes it can be a little tough, but it's still good to maintain all A's. 
How, what does Haley do when you're not racing? When I'm not racing, I usually, if I'm not working on my race car or doing homework, I like to involve in my school and go to the sporting events and support my school. I understand you have a couple of pets. Can you tell us what kind of pets they are and what their names are? Well, a lot of people don't really see these pets as working together very much. So I have a snake named Curly, and he's 17 years old. And I have a silver lab named Bentley, and he's two years old. Awesome. That's quite the duo you got there. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're just about out of time. Would you like to give a shout out to your sponsors? Uh, I'd like to thank Joe's Racing Products, MyTrafficMan.net for all they've helped me with, and just all my fans and supporters, and Dion Yink. Haley, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Well, there you have it. What an amazing story from one of the young rising stars in motorsports. To learn more about Haley, check her out at HaleyConstanceRacing.com. Follow her on social media. Don't forget, if you want to catch up on any of the Race Face Spotlight shows, you can do so at RaceFace.tv On Demand. Until next time, I'm Brittany Lung. Thanks for watching.